Hey everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles, and today I'm here with Miss Camry. Hi guys! She's gonna help me to show you guys a hairstyle that we're calling Twisted Edge Fishtail Combo. Now lots of you guys have written in and sent pictures for this hairstyle for this specific video, but this is not a new technique. I actually learned this technique over on my friend's channel, Princess Hairstyles, so this is an inspired by her tutorial. Now to make this hairstyle a combo, you can see what I've done, just tip your head a little bit, is done a French back, it's actually a Dutch back, just in the center right here and into a very high ponytail. Now when everything is secured into a high ponytail, this is where we're going to start the twisted edge fishtail right here. So we're going to begin by separating the hair into two pieces. So we have our two pieces and we're going to do the very first stitch just like a normal fishtail. So you're going to pick up a piece of hair on the rightmost side and cross it over that section and into the left side. Now you're going to repeat, pick up a piece of hair, cross it over the left section and into the right. So we've just switched these two pieces, basically they've just traded places. So now we're going to take another piece of hair on this right side, and this is a little bit different on the second stitch, I'm going to have her just hang on to it for me. And I'm going to pick up one piece of hair on each side of the fishtail and have her hold them. Okay, so now we're going to pick up another stitch and we're going to go ahead and cross it over to the other side, pick up a piece from the left and cross it over to the right. So another normal fishtail stitch. Now on our next stitch, this is where we begin the twisted edge part. So you're going to take another piece of hair and you're going to hold it out and I'm going to have her trade them. Now you'll notice that this original piece I'm taking underneath the second one and then I'm going to add that to the left side. Then we're going to repeat that on this end. So we're taking a piece of hair from this edge, I'm going to have her hold it and I'm taking the original one and crossing it back over to my right hand. So we still always have just the two sections that we're working with plus the little pieces that we're twisting along the way. Now, in between each time you switch these two strands out, you're going to do one normal stitch. So now I need to do a normal stitch. So I'm just taking up some edge, switching it to the left side, separating off a piece, changing it to the right side. Now I need to switch these again. So I take an edge piece and have her hang on to it, taking that back underneath and over. Having her hold that, bringing it underneath and over. And then you're just going to repeat this process all the way down the hair. Now when you get down to the end where you're running out of length, I just like to add these in to the regular fishtail pieces. You can even cross them over if you want and just kind of add them in. And then you can secure it with an elastic. Now when I first did this, I kind of thought it looked like the box fish shell. So what happens though is when you go back and you flatten it out like this, then you can really see the difference in the stranding because it's not like a 3D box. It's very flat like this. And if you really wanted to, you could even go back and pancake all of those edges. I kind of like it not pancaked for this particular style, but that's entirely up to you. Okay, now one of the best parts about this hairstyle is that it's great for athletics. The braid is really tight and so it's going to hold really well. You've got the hair all slicked back. You can see that I even styled it on wet hair. It would also look great on dry hair. And one thing I think would be really cute is to just take this and loop it up and around and then tuck those ends under and have a really fancy bun. That would be really awesome, especially if you had all those ends tucked under because it would just look like this giant fishtail bun. So if you're a dancer, you have to wear your hair up, that's a great option for this hairstyle as well. I'm going to leave it down since we're not dancing today and just pop a cute little bow into the top right here for a little accent and we're good to go. Let's do the final spin. Ta-da! Love it. Looks good. 
Be sure to give us a thumbs up if you like the video. Don't forget to subscribe. You can click on this button right here. And leave a comment. What should we have them say? Leave uh, a comment. What you're doing for spring break. There you go. Spring break's coming up, so make sure to leave a comment and tell us all of the exciting activities you have planned for spring break. Guess what else, you guys? On Wednesday of this week, expect a bonus video. So not only will we see you next Sunday, but we'll see you on Wednesday as well. Bye, you guys. Bye. So as you can see, I've done a couple of the stitches, but we're not actually gonna go all the way down the braid. We're just gonna go down so it's even with a part on the end. Hey, stinker poo. Hey, hi, sugar. Show me your teeth. Show me your teeth. Ah, uh, ah, uh, brushy, brushy. Ah, uh, hey, give me kisses. Hey, blow me kisses. Blow kisses. Thank you.